Salam and hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to create this 3D T join of the pipe by using AutoCAD software. Okay, now let's open the new file. Okay, we use right view. Then we draw a line like this with the length of 100. Then we draw a vertical line start from this midpoint with the length of 50. Okay, now let's change to isometric view. Okay, firstly, okay, you can refer to this view cube. Then we need to change the coordinate to front. Then we can draw the polygon. We put the number of side 8. Then we click to this point, inscribe in circle. Then we put the radius 25. Then we draw a circle inside that polygon with radius of 15. Then by using the extrude command, okay, we need to use solid extrude. Okay, like this. Then we extrude with value of 8. Alright. Then by using the subtract command. We subtract this part like this. Okay, so you can see the preview. Next, by using the copy edges, we copy this edge, press enter, then we choose the base point, then we just put on the same point, press enter twice, then you can see the circle. Okay, I off this selection cycling first. Then by using the offset command, I put the offset distance 4, I offset this circle like this. Okay. Then by using the extrude command, I extrude both of this circle with distance of 5. Then by using the subtract command, subtract this part and this part. So you can see the conceptual view. Now I want to change to right view. By using the mirror command, I mirror this part like this. Okay, by using the polar tracking technique. Then, once again, I mirror this part like this. Okay, alright. Then, I want to draw a circle with radius of 19. Then I draw another circle inside that circle with radius of 15. By using the copy command, I duplicate this object to the right. Then simply, I sweep these circles to this line like this. So you can see the preview. Then once again, I sweep this circle to this line. Alright, so you can see the SW isometric view. Okay, now I want to isolate this part. Okay, select this part like this. Right click, isolate, then choose hide object. Now I want to use, I want to change to 2D wireframe in order to subtract this part and this part. So by using the SU subtract command, press enter, then subtract this part and subtract this part. Okay, now you can see the preview. Okay, now I want to trim this part, this part and this part by using the slice command. So firstly, we need to create a surface before we slice. So by using the copy edges, I click to this edge, press enter, then I click to the base point and I, I just click the same point for the center twice you can see the circle next by using the surface extrude i click to this circle okay firstly i want to we need to activate the selection cycling you can see you can get the selection cycling by click here okay let's turn it on by using the surface extrude then we extrude this circle Press enter, 
like this. Then we use slice command. We click to this part because we want to slice this part. Press enter. Click surface and choose the surface. Now we can remove this surface as it is not required anymore. You also can see here. Okay, just remove that. Then we also need to slice this part. So, once again, by using the copy edges, click to this edge, press enter, click to the base point, then just click to that same point. So you can get the circle. Now, by using the surface as root, click to that circle. Okay. Press enter, then as root downward until this point. By using the slice command, click to this part because uh, because we want to slice this part. Press enter, then click surface, then let's select the surface. Press enter. So we can remove this surface. You can see the conceptual view. Okay. Simply click here. Okay, then press delete. So you can see the complete object. Now we can end the object isolation. Right click, isolate, then end object isolation. By using the union command, we can union all of this, all of this part like this. Okay, press enter. Then you can see the single object. Now we can change to shaded with edges. We also can see the cross section of the 3D model by using section plate. Okay, click to this center until here. Alright, then for the coordinate, we choose front. I click to this plane, click to that blue dot, press enter twice. You can rotate that like this. So you can, you can see the cross section. Of the 3D modeling. Okay. So thanks for watching my tutorial video. Keep follow us for more updates and information. If you interest, if you if you interested with our training, AutoCAD training, you can contact us. Thank you. Bye bye.